Hey guys, it is me, Simone. In this video, I'm going to make another version of ink blending tools. I like these. I've been not really liking my ink blending tools because they're very short and they're very wide. I really kind of wanted a smaller one, so I started to think of how to make a smaller one. And I started watching more videos of people making their own ink blending tools. And I found a lady who made hers, and I really liked the way she did it. So I kind of get inspired by her in the way that she used these little babies which gives you a very more um very close style to what Tim Holtz has so let's get started the things you're going to need to get started right first thing you need are some uh, wood plugs so they're called I'll leave a link to once I have this is a pack of a hundred which means I can make 50 because you're gonna glue two together but you can do they have smaller packs of 2500 250 a thousand you know it's, it's up to you how many you need next thing you're gonna need are some wood dolls i got these off of amazon um i think these are like 12 bucks these are the baby ones i kind of wanted some bigger ones like the kid ones or the mom or dad or whatever play around with it i'll leave some links to the ones that you can get next thing you need is some foam to use this is actually a foam Should I throw the packaging away right no okay so I went on Amazon and I found a replica I think I said but when I it, it mailed it shipped to me it just came in the Tim Holtz packaging so I was kind of confused I was like wait that was replica not the actual thing or something um, but it was like four dollars for this pack that was uh, already been opened and they stapled together. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm confused. But um, I want to try them anyways to see how you know what the foam looked like because he did say in his video, one of his videos, that this foam is not makeup sponge, and I wanted to try it and see what kind of sponge it was and. He's right, it's not make a sponge, different type of sponge, but I figure out what that is later. Next thing you need is some kind of glue. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. And then you're going to need black paint to paint your things or whatever paint you want to use. I'm using black paint. And then I'm using glossy Mod Podge to varnish the paint so it stays on there. I like it, it gives a nice shine to it but you can use matte mod podge or satin mod podge or whatever you want to use it's up to you let's begin first thing you're going to do is get some of these little babies out these wood plugs the ones i have the one i'm linking below they have two different sides to them one side has like this edging you see that and the other one is just flat like that so i glue those together more surface area. I just use my tacky glue to get that. You can use wood glue if you want to. I put a lot of glue, I put a lot of glue down, guys. Okay. I really need to clean this. My caps are looking so bad. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to, of course, attach them. Once you do that, move on to attaching your little wood dolls. Now, these wood dolls are like one in a a fourth of an inch tall so they're very small you can get any size you want to but I'm just doing these sizes I have done both ways you can just glue them on like this and then paint them or you can paint them first and then glue them on um, it's up to you it's I feel like it's easier to just glue them on first and then paint them because it gives me more surface area to hold and I can paint all of them without having to do like several parts so glue this down real quick just make sure before you do this step that you wait for those to dry because they will shift a little bit since the glue is still wet. And I already have one that 
dried, shifted, if you can see that. There, yeah, it's not pretty. Once those dry, you're going to paint yours, and then you're going to do the, the, um, the Mod Podge, or whatever you have to varnish it. So the varnish is optional, but I do like it, it gives a nice uh, finish kind of look to it. After you do that, I just forgot your neat Velcro. I totally forgot to mention that. So you need Velcro. The Velcro I have is from the Dollar Tree. Comes in a pack like this with the hoops and the loops and everything. You can just go on. I found on Amazon that they sell or sold selling just the hoops because that's all you really use anyways. Are just the hoops. So I'm using my scissors and I'm cut this Velcro. These are some beautiful floral shears I got from the Dollar Tree. And this actually comes with adhesive on it, so I don't really add any adhesive and it falls off. I'll just um, reattach it. But right now the adhesive is fine. And I can bore you to death with all that. But um, so it comes with adhesive on it already, so I'm just going to attach this if you want to it's, it's square on a round circle so if you want to you can trim the edges I don't but you can I am not planning to take the the velcro I mean the sponge off of this so I think this adhesive will be strong enough but if you are planning to do that you might want to get some scissors scissors what um upholstery stapler I have a couple around my house or you can get um, a nail and a small nail and hammer it in just to secure the velcro onto your sponge whatever you do is up to you but I think this is very fun um, and it's a really cool way an easy way to make multiple of these I think this one's a little more expensive because the wood dowels not towels the wood plugs cost me like $23 for a hundred and right now this is right now Amazon prices do change like often but for 25 which makes you like 13 like 12 point so 12 I think it's 12 <laughs> Yes, yeah, 12. 12 and a half, basically. Um, okay. I wasn't even counting my Velcro. I made a ton of Velcro for all my pieces. I'm so good at this. Okay, so I'm still saying um, you can get the one the smaller ones. It'll be $9 for 12. Let me do the math real quick for you guys. Just make sure when you're looking for these, um, I'll, I'll, I'll play it later. I'll just keep skip this part. Okay, I'm back. Now the price is a little bit more expensive. If you want to, you can change things as I mentioned before. You can get the smaller sets. I got a hundred of these little um, wood plugs. So, and the biggest size I go to is one inch. So these are one inch wood plugs. The sponges that Tim Holt offers are one and a fourth of an inch. So, so it's gonna be a little bit um, wider than it, but. 
it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, his are supposed to be one inch anyways. And diameter. What does I want to say? Something else. <laughs> But you can use smaller mounts. You can do the 25 or you can do the 250, whatever. So this is about 50 dab dabbers, ink dabbers, whatever. And then the little dolls I got, instead of 100, you can do smallers or biggers or whatever. Those That one was... So for these... I'm like so off track, guys. I'm so sorry. I think it's good part of <clears throat> So I'm back guys and I've got the prices and everything for you. For your wood plugs, I don't remember the name, for the wood plugs I bought a pack of 100 for $23 and I think like 73 cents. For the little baby wood dolls, I got a pack of 100 for $12.90. It's a little more expensive so that is a total of $36.65 add dollar here and there because I did get the velcro I do have some velcro lying around but the velcro, velcro pack I've showed you has done like 20 of these so far I still have a good bit to go so if you add in it's a 36 6 65 add in like two dollars for the velcro that I got from Dollar Tree and then divide that by 50 all right so that's not much <laughs> So, do all the math, this makes 50. I'll still have about 50 more of these little wood dolls left over. But, um, I just will get in the pack and make more of these. But, this gives me $50 for $0.77 cents a piece. That includes the Velcro, but that does not include the foam. Um, that would be separate. So, right now, not including the foam, I have made this dauber so everything you see right here the velcro everything for 77 cents that's i think is a good bargain that's that's really cheap because you wouldn't get two of tim holtz for like what was it like five dollars or so that's that's pretty expensive i do like these a lot better they are a little bit longer than ones i made last time give you some space to really hold on to it and they are, you know, smaller in diameter. These, this is two inches. So I still like these, but they're really wide. And for certain projects, if I want smaller ones, like the smaller ink pads, like these, these are easier to get in there and do stuff. I think that's everything, guys. That is everything. I'm super excited about these. So I did, oh, I didn't include the black paint or the mod podge because that is optional you can get your mod podge at dollar tree and you can get black paint for like 50 cents at walmart but that's optional you don't have to paint yours i just painted mine um so i'm not gonna include that but just the makeup of the entire thing it's just the little wood doll and the wood plugs and that's it very sturdy so before you can do nails in here or to um to very secure the velcro if you want to but i'm excited to make these little things i have some other ones coming in the works that i've seen being made much love guys and i will talk to you later bye get crafty